you'll be amazed at uh, any mga techniques that they use that you can also use. For example, um, uh, do you know the technique how to make people disappear from a picture using a very long exposure? May mga ganun techniques or how to use a slide projector to set up a uh, shoot. Mga ganun. Or even, uh, let's say, tips on candid photography or for what they, or for street photography. It's all, uh, it's all out there. People have been doing this for more than a hundred years. And uh, all that's new is it is upgraded technology. In you. And uh, of course, it's the engine, not the boat. I am my friend ako, nagagalit sa akin dito pala, yung sinasabi ko yan. Pero it's quite true eh, kasi ikaw yung nag-decide kung yung camera ang gusto mo. There is a camera for each setting. For example, for example, for example, you wouldn't take this camera uh, to go into a for more, ano, to, to go for to a personal shoot. Kasi, moros makita ko nakatakot. For example, if I was food shoot, I was to shoot si Manuel from here using this, it would be uncomfortable. Especially if I was, let's say I was two feet close, ganyan. Si Michael Bundes at salay na to sa ganito. So, okay lang. Oh. Yeah. Now, you see, that was the first snaps. It's not quite useful. It's useful for long range shots. This used to be used for yung mga safari or bird shoots. But to use it for street photography, dapat malayo ka. Whereas, for example, ito. So, lakad lang ako. Ano ko ganyan? Shoot lang ako. Pero ako nakuha. Tagang photos. Ito. And ito is not as uh, intimidating as the other one. Because everybody thinks this is... It's, 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 a, it's a tourist camera sa Vinila. But, you know, it's quite effective. Tapos, if you're doing street photography, or even, ano, don't be too obvious. Depende kasi sa, ano, eh, situation, eh. Um, for example, gusto kong mag-candid photo. <laughs> Paano ko mag-candid photo nito? Sabay ako ng ganito, nag pa ako shades. Alam ka, ganda na, ano, di ba? It doesn't work that way. Now, uh, din yun nato. This is interesting. Same <laughs> photographer once used this camera to get photos. Now, what is the advantage of this camera photos over the SLR? The SLR, you use it like a gun. Point it and shoot it. This one is quite different. The way you use this one is... Focus, and then you shoot. An advantage, it's not as intimidating as the other one. So the, the photographer, see, you're gonna check it out. Diane, Diane Erdo, basically took photos of her mga subjects here, and they were at ease. Because she was taking from this ano, position. It's as intimidating, like for example, ito, pag ginanong ko yan, natakot talaga kayo. Yun lang yan, o. Tapos, also yung for food photos, um, for example, this one, or macro, would be nice. Okay na hindi siya ano. Pero, as my friend said, you should also be worried. For example, you're taking food photos. Hindi mo food. Okay? Ito yun mo sabihin natin. Tapos, shoot mong ganyan, malapit ka. Tapos, sa mga tingin sa'yo nung kumakain, siyempre, eh, mag-aari yan, di ba? So, dapat ano ka lang, eh. Kaya kahit personal, pers pers kahit ito hindi mo ano, pero lalaki ka ng tolo, eh, sa'yo. Mag-aganong ka. Tapos, minsan, ano pa yan, eh? So, I mean, mga tatama, una, yung kumakain ng ulam, o yung kinukumulita, ito magagalit. <laughs> Kasi, siyempre, yung pagkaya ko, halos may isang ganun, eh. Huwag yung macro. Ah, uh, Magpahala muna kayo bago mo lumapit sa ano, sa pagkain kung kinakain. Lalo na kung, uh, kaya minsan yung iba nakita mo sa event, sa kaya sa photo, palapit mo na kumakain eh. Kasi ayaw nila. Pero ito, I, I like this kind of presenting na gamit ko. Um, ano ba? 
request sa Indian na nagpunta. Tapos, um, I think, yun yun, yun, yun that's some shit up sa photoblogging eh, tawag na. I think, one more. Ayan, mahili kayo sa jump shots, right? <laughs> Ito yung, I selected this one. This is done by uh, Alvin Carter Bresson. He is the person who, I think, typifies uh, photojournalism and also street photography. And he did, just to point out, he used a light camera, which is a nice camera. But at that time, it was uh, marami pang ibang masika. Pero remember, it's not the camera, it's his, his shot. He decided to capture the top. And also remember, he did, he was, uh, with his personal view was, he did not believe in, uh, at that time, cutting the photo or anything. Ang kanyang belief was, uh, he was composing the photo, uh, bahala na yung processing ko nung afterwards. For him, the most important photo was the photo he was about to take. He was the one who coined the phrase, yung decisive moment. In every photo, kaya, that's why we're pointing out you have to be familiar with your camera. There is a decisive moment when you see a girl smile, break across your lips, shoot it. Or a couple walking down the street, shoot it. And see, you know, see HCB, see Henry Carter Brazil, even taped his uh, camera black in order para hindi makita ng kanyang uh, tao. Hindi siya nininiwala sa flash, uh, kasi he thinks it's subsusive. But you know, it's his personal view. Some some <coughs> photographers have taken it as dogma already, which is fine. Because it basically it's also their personal view. But I like his personal view as well. But I also like. Oh, this is his camera. It's a, can you imagine? It's a it's a Leica. But can you compare it with the cameras now? Also, this is quite. It's a no, di ba? Get the optics yan. But in terms of operation, pag alam mo na, okay siya yun. Ito yung lolo ng Lumix nyo. LX3. Ito naman, this is another photographer. He goes by the name Luigi. Uh, Arthur Felling. He's, he is known for taking uh, photo noir. Or yung usually mga photos of uh, crime scenes. And also of... Uh, Mga events and he uses a flash a lot. Now, why do I like it? He tells a good story. Here you have contrast. This is again the openings sa New York. And nakita mo there, you have two socialites here. And you go. He actually, uh, ano ba to? Kinat niya to ulit. And pinesent siya si Bam. But he's very known for this. In fact, he has one of the more famous paintings, of the, uh, sorry, portraits of a portrait of his, was a guy being shot down uh, and taking a photo of, or a fire. And the big difference was, with most uh, photos, is, in sa kanya was, he took the photo of the man, shot na, ano na, against the backdrop of a neighborhood that was oblivious to what was happening. That won him an award. I mean, and uh, one of his paintings, well, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm mixing portraits and paintings means I I wax poetic a lot sometimes. But just to learn, just to learn, you can learn a lot of things from the old photography as well. You can find this in books on the internet, even in some of the seminars. 